Hey, it's Brad Stevens here, and in this video, I just want to give a very quick demo of the Audience Draw software. Okay, so the software has three components. The first is the graph search rule, the second is the interest rule, and the third is a post rule. And basically, it's a three in one Facebook market research tool. All right, so the first thing I want to jump into is the graph search rule. As you can see, users can go into the graph search rule and they're presented with a drop down menu for the different criteria. So the first one they can go for is pages. Click on next. And they're given a whole bunch of graph search string templates they can go and fill in extremely easily. Now, the main issue with graph search, the graph search um, in Facebook is it can be hard to construct with all the different variables that can come into play in what order, what words come after each variable to make it a proper constructed string and basically we've added these templates in to make it extremely easy for them to just go and fill in their variables, execute their search and be able to do their market research very very quickly and effectively. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to use the first one for the purpose of this video, select people and this is directly tied in with the Facebook API so when they, when they start typing in their keyword it's going to go and it's going to go pull Facebook pages directly from Facebook. So I can go ahead and say Batman, Batman memes. Okay, click on next. And it's going to bring them to step three, the finalize search tab. And they can go ahead and they can save this audience or this, um, this specific graph search string for future reference and that will be available from the dashboard tab. But what's really cool is instead of copying and pasting this into Facebook manually, they can click on search and it's going to execute it for them within Facebook. Okay, and as you can see it comes up with all Batman related stuff. And this can be used, okay so this graph search tool can be used for researching niches, it can be used for finding crossover niches so for example if you had a action sports brand and you were looking for different niches or interests to target or perhaps some competitors all you have to do is go to the define search stage and you can go and you can select um, people who are older than let's say 25 who like surfing and skateboarding and what you're going to be provided with is a list of Facebook pages that basically are liked by the by people who like surfing and skateboarding so as you can see that's directly correlated with an action sports brand and you can see it'll give you some niche ideas it will give you perhaps some new interest to target in your ads and it's pretty powerful stuff Okay, and the next thing I want to cover is the different criteria. So then there's favorite interests, okay? I'm not going to go through the whole search process again because I just went through it. It's the same for every single criteria. So favorite interests actually only provides interests within Facebook. So they can look for overlapping interests. Once again, for the action sports niche, let's say you're selling GoPros on Amazon or a generic and you want to look for that type of audience all you have to do is type in the favorite interests of people who like wakeboarding and surfing then what it's going to do is it's going to give you only interests that are related to your graph search so it's a great way of drilling deep into your core demographic to make sure your ad performs very very well and then you've got groups and places Groups is great for people who market in a way where you look for groups in your niche, you join it and you do product uh, posts within the group. So that's another way of uh, marketing, let's say Amazon products, you join a action sports group and you post your Amazon generic action camera, action sports camera in there and try and make some sales through there. So that's a, just one strategy. There's lots of strategies with groups, but this is a great way of digging them up. Okay, next up we've got the interest rule. This is one of my favorites. 
extremely powerful little module here. All the user has to do, okay, before I jump into this, I just wanna give you a bit of background. With most other softwares, what you do, and actually the manual way of doing research, you enter a keyword, it, search for, it searches for a whole bunch of Facebook pages, and then you have to copy and paste those into your Facebook ads manager and hope that the ones you've selected can actually be targeted. And in smaller niches, this can be quite an issue because people spend, I don't know, 10 minutes doing research and some Facebook pages in the results were really small and they struggled to find really good audiences to target in their ads, rendering the software is um, a bit of an issue for those people. But with interest drill, this ties directly into the Facebook API. So what people can do is search for a keyword. I'm just gonna go with the gardening example. It's a pretty good one that caters to a smaller niche. As you can see, 10 pages of results. And what they can then do is they can go and they can filter by, they can show interests, schools, majors, location, employer, or job titles related to their keyword but let's stick with interests for this one, okay? And then the manual way of doing research is usually to open a, a Google tab and search for gardening associations, gardening institutions, gardening academies, but and then copying and pasting the results from the, the first page of Google into your ad, hoping that they can be targeted. But what the software does is they can go and they can select these filters and they can add them in manually too, manually too. And they can go ahead and, and select all their different filters, click on filter, and it's gonna do that automatically for them. It's gonna eliminate all the results that don't have these text filters in them, cutting the research time down literally by 45 minutes, okay? So as you can see, it gives us one page of awesome results. The customers click on select all or select whichever interest they want to use manually. Click on copy. And as you can see, they've got a 400,000 audience ready to go. And remember, these will always be able to be targeted in Facebook. They're going to paste these into, into the interest field and they're going to have a 400,000 strong audience in the gardening niche. Now, this is normally extremely hard to do, but with the software, it makes it extremely easy. Let's go with the nursing example. Exactly the same. Nursing is a big, big niche. You can sort by job titles, sort by audience size. Okay. And they can use the text filters to narrow down these results even deeper to only find associations, institutions, academies, etc., etc., and have a very, very targeted audience to run their ads to. And when you run your ads to, to really passionate um, audiences, you get a lower ad cost, you get a higher click-through rate, and you also get more sales through uh, because of the high conversions. Because what you're showing these people is something they're very, very interested in because they're passionate about it, right? So that's the power behind the interest rule. The next one I want to go into is the post roll. Okay, so the post roll is pretty much a market research tool. All the user has to do is enter a website. Okay, so Teespring, let's say we're doing t-shirts. Teespring.com, represent.com, viralstyle.com, whatever the platform may be. And then enter a keyword. The firefighting niche is very big in the t-shirt scene. So they click on go. And then they can go ahead and they can select any one of these buttons and search Facebook for all posts, page posts, photo posts, video posts, or search by shares. So just for this video, I'm gonna click on all posts. It's gonna go and it's gonna go execute the search within Facebook. Okay, now what they can do is they can go ahead and they can spy on their competitors. They can just see what other people in their niches are doing. As you can see, this is, if you go here, you can see the design, the different colors, price points, ad copy, headlines. You can see everything. You can go to the page, see what other campaigns they may be running. 
if you're in a smaller niche let's go with the gardening niche again you can search for you can search for perhaps a gardening affiliate program and see let's say that website and then you can search for gardening as the keyword and see what your competitors are doing and see perhaps they've got a lot of shares on their post and yours isn't taking off you can see what they're doing uh, to make the ad successful and you can try and replicate that in your own business so it's very very powerful for market research for seeing what other people are doing that's 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 making their money online and you can go ahead and try and replicate that in your own business so that is the software I'm pretty sure I've covered everything in the settings tab you've also got your filters here so you can delete and edit as you please and again we've got a whole training video section here the welcome tab the dashboard where your saved audiences go and of course the logout button all right so that's going to wrap up this demo video thanks very much for your time